Hi, my name is Romek. I'm part of the student executive team and today we'll be interviewing Mr. Gill for Wellbeing for All. So, sir, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role here at HIS? Okay, so I think everybody knows me as Mr. Gale, the principal, but also knows me as the full-time car park attendant, yeah. as I, I manage the car park before and after school. And then during that time, I'm the principal of the school, overseeing the health and safety and academic standards and well-being of all the staff and students within our campus. Okay, and how do you think everyone can maintain their own well-being? Well-being is, is a real buzzword at the moment. There's lots of talk about well-being and mental health. Yep. But I feel quite strongly that well-being is mine. It's our own. We are all responsible for our own well-being. Only we can affect our own well-being. And I think at times, perhaps, well-being and mental health is often used as an excuse. Yeah. And, and we need to be very careful about how it's used and make sure that students, our community, understand its use and, and, and what it means and what well-being actually is. Yeah. So it's about being self-aware. Okay. And, and I had a really great conversation last week yeah. with Mrs Peacock, as you know, she's yeah. returning yeah, yeah. as the assistant principal. And she really inspired me with sort of an analogy and an image that sort of resonated with me. And we're going to be doing some work on this okay. in, in August. And the way she sees it, if I remember it correctly, is that well-being sits in the middle of a seesaw and at the other ends of the seesaw we have resources and challenges and in order to make sure that we've got the right balance yeah. for well-being we need to make sure that everyone in our community has the right resources yeah. and the right amount of challenges being managed to maintain that well-being mental health positive psychology and I thought that was a really excellent way for us to begin to move forward with that. Yeah, of course. So what would you say in your own words, like what opportunities does HIS, uh, HIS have in place for students and teachers to boost their well-being? I think our strap line and our vision is that everyone counts, everyone contributes, everyone succeeds. Yeah. And with that Romek, we've created a culture where everyone is included. And I'd like to think that across all sections of the school, whether it's academic, enrichment, creative and performing arts, or in sports, there are areas in which students can engage in and, yeah. and be part of. Mm -hmm. We're also very mindful of the fact that every student needs a champion, and that there would always be an adult in school of which somebody could talk to someone mm -hmm. about anything. Yeah. And, and as you know, Mr. Nabil has been, you know, really driven in driving forward the past surveys, student voice, student well-being, and also that of the staff as well. The yeah. staff well-being group have been very creative over the last academic year um, in opportunities for staff to engage in well-being activities. Yeah, and do you think that students and teachers' well-being directly reflects on their performance? It has to. It has to. It, it's an intrinsic part, and that's why I go back to my original statement which says, well-being is my own, I have to own it. I have to know myself, I have to know my good bits, yeah. my bad bits, and my ugly bits. I, know, I need to know what resources do I need, what challenges do I face, and the skills to be able to cope with that, so that I can keep on top of my mm -hmm. own well-being. Um, and I think it's really important that that is the starting point yeah. for people to do their own analysis and evaluation mm -hmm. about what's good, bad and ugly about where they are at the moment and where they want to be and is that realistic yeah. as a starting point for well-being. Yeah. And lastly, what do you believe is the importance of well-being? Well-being is a way of life, isn't it? Okay. It's, it's yeah. the ability to be able to manage the day-to-day, -day, see the future and learn from the past. It's not a moment in time or a, a Monday morning feeling, it's an attitude. Yeah. You know, it, it's definitely a way of life that needs to be you know, 10,000 hours and it becomes a habit. Yeah. It's a way of thinking, it's a way of living, it's a way of feeling, it's a way of speaking, it's a way of acting. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, great. So, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, anytime. So thank you, everyone, for listening to yet another Wellbeing, uh, Wellbeing for All. This is, unfortunately, our last one, but maybe in the future we'll have some other projects. Thank you.